Welcome to this Yoga with Ashley practice. Today I'm bringing you a short at-home practice that you can take anywhere with you, a short yoga for anxiety, a way to lessen any nerves, whether you're anxious or excited or just feeling like you need to come down from whatever that space, is, space that you're in, um, bring yourself a little bit down back to earth. So let's get started. We are gonna start in a seated pose. Whatever is most comfortable for you. So that might mean cross leg or uh, legs forward or sitting on, on your heels. There's a lot of options. So just coming into this comfortable cross leg position and to find some nice posture, take a long reaching stretch up. You're gonna take those hands and reach way up. Take a deep breath in. And then just allow those hands to float down into your lap or onto your knees, palms facing up or down. Palms facing up typically means you're open to whatever's coming in. Palms facing down, we're looking to get a little bit more grounded or for, turn inward a bit more. So that's up to you. So up or down is fine. You can close the eyes or simply gaze down towards the floor and start this practice by taking a few deep breaths. Our breath comes in and out through our nose in our yoga practice. Each inhale and each hail, exhale, getting a little bit deeper, a little bit longer. And then doing your best to extend that exhale even longer than the inhale. In fact, take a deep breath in together, fill the lungs from bottom to, bottom to top, and then to pause at the very top and pause there, hold it. Then exhale out slowly and then pause at the very bottom and hold it. Do that again with a pause, inhale through the nose. Pause, exhale through the nose. Pause, a little bit of breath retention at the top and the bottom, helping to create a pause, a very reminiscent of a full moon and a new moon. Just a place to pause and reflect, to notice, to notice the fullness of the breath and to notice the emptiness before we take that next movement or breath or inhale or exhale. So that's gonna be very helpful in calming us down in any way, just to take a few deep breaths, but also to add some pause and be aware of those breaths. So adding a four second pause or extending that inhale and the exhale. So those deep breaths are really going to help you bring yourself to this present moment. So in this present moment, be aware of that breath throughout this practice and maintain that deep breath with or without the pauses as we do some simple movements. From there, let's simply take the chin down to the chest and rock your head side to side. So it's a nice tilt of the chin, feeling that tension in the neck sort of dissipate in a rocking, very nice motion. So you can do full rotations or half rotations, pausing at any point that you might want a little extra stretch. Make sure those shoulders are heavy, hands are still down on your knees or your lap. And bring your head back up to the center and look over the right shoulder and switch sides, look over the left shoulder. The way we say safe when we're taking turns or backing up in our car, we're able to look side to side without any pain or aches. From there, let's reach those arms up. Simple spinal stretches. Take one hand to the side, side bend, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Side bend, exhale. Now a twist side to side, reach up. Twist simply to right or left, that's up to you. And then switch sides, reach up, twist to the other side. Take that inhale to lengthen back up to the top. Then shift forward to your hands and knees. So from those hands and knees, we do a very basic movement called cat and cow. So you arch the back and look up, round the back and look down. 
you find a breath pattern with that movement, typically inhaling to arch the back, exhaling to round. And to calm our mind, our anxiety, breath is awesome, but so is a little bit of movement, and movement close to the ground. So come back to more of a neutral position, take those knees a little wider, sit back on the heels, and walk the hands forward. This is called child's pose. If you take your forehead down towards the floor, even touching the floor, it can help relieve some of that tension or stress or anxiety as you bring that third eye, the eyebrows, the center of the eyebrows, right to the ground. Keeping this simple, walk your hands over to, let's go to the left side or the right side, just one of the sides. So off your mat, reaching that outside hand, one of the arms, longer. So if you're over to the left, reach your right hand longer. If you're over to the right, reach your left hand longer. Then switch sides, walking over to the other side, staying in child's pose, just adding this lateral bend. Then back to the center. Shift forward to your hands and knees. First time in downward facing dog, so let's set that up. Hands will walk forward in front of the shoulders just a bit. Fingers spread wide, tuck the toes under their hip distance apart. Lift the hips, press the hips back. Knees are still bent at first. And start by pedaling the feet, spin the knees one at a time. Press the heart towards the thighs, relax the head. And a really great pose to make us feel, you know, calm, relaxed, is just a simple forward fold. So down dog in our forward fold is a very uh, mild inversion and it gets some of our blood flow up to our head and works some blood flow through the body. So let's walk those hands back. Bend the knees even more, more than you think you need, and fold it down. Grab the elbows, shake out the head, and just hang out. A great place to come down. Sway side to side, that gentle rocking movement. There's a reason why young children get calm when they're rocked side to side. And we can do the same thing for ourselves. Rocking and shifting from right to left. Okay, then release those hands down to the floor. Walk the hands forward. Back down to the hands and knees. Knees come down. Simply sitting back and swinging the legs around. Let's take those knees open wide, feet together. Sit forward a little bit more. Hands onto the feet, take a deep breath in. A gentle hip opener, lean forward, press the elbows down towards the thighs or the calves as you send your heart forward and gaze forward. And we've got one more pose for you. It's a right and left side twist, and we'll do that lying down. So lift the knees up, and from anywhere on your mat or wherever you are, roll yourself down slowly. Head and shoulders come down. Take a knee and hug it close to you. Then pick up the opposite hip as you press into that long leg heel. Take the leg across, and you lift up onto that outside hip. As you take your leg across your body, use opposite hand to press down. Look away from the legs and extend the opposite arm. Just a few breaths to help get that spine long, body feeling balanced. And switch sides. Come in, bring it back to the center, hug the knee in, and switch. Take that leg across the body, twist other side. Bring the leg back up to the top, hug the knee in, hug both knees in. We'll actually end seated today, so you're going to rock and roll yourself back up to the top. Sit nice and tall and spend about 10 breaths or so in a quiet meditation or contemplation.
just simply noticing and acknowledging your breath again. Nothing else right now in your mind or outside of you matters. There might be a few distractions and that's okay. Let them be as they are as you continue to bring your awareness and your noticing back to your breath. All right, take a deep breath in and let it go. Take your hands together, press the thumbs to the heart in gratitude. Thank you for joining for this short yoga to calm and anxious nerves or yoga for anxiety. I hope you have a wonderful day and please feel free to leave a comment, share, like, subscribe, all that great stuff. But besides that, just a huge thank you for being part of this yoga journey.